music and uh, one of our buddies are on our way to Spokane right now we're actually about yeah, 20 minutes outside of Spokane uh, but yeah super excited finally gonna bring you guys some track day content like we promised Tyler's bringing the Hemi out to see if we can uh, beat his personal best Dustin is there in his uh, Fox body Mustang with a 302 and then uh, we got Joe there and his uh, Fox body Mustang with a 302 Chris is gonna be there and a few other people Cameron but it should be a really exciting day I'm really excited to be there to help uh, do the pit crew and everything for everybody I uh, brought some skinnies for Tyler for the front so that way he's kind of got like the whole drag pack look going to go along with the slicks um, also bringing him a helmet so that way he's you know nice and safe so he can pass tech Tyler he's done some updating on his truck um, new transmission and we've added some more timing to the motor and so hopefully today he's gonna be running in the 11s is what I'm hoping if not we're gonna have to start tweaking that tune and get him into the 11s on on motor before we put turbos on it can't wait to see what the cars are gonna run today in the trucks but I will uh, bring you guys back with me when once we get into the track see you guys there get more official we'll do that <laughs> we gotta keep a pg though for the channel PG? Yeah. yeah yeah no cussing okay. so uh, <laughs> and there's my cue <laughs> i typically do pretty good i'll just quit talking <laughs> pretty hard for me to do I'm surprised, but there's a lot more of a variety of cars than I didn't expect. Well, I think this is the most amount of cars yet. No, because when we were at that first race wars here, oh, remember, true, true, true. it was yeah, yeah. packed. Yeah, it was packed. True, it was definitely and I think packed. Street car takeover was pretty packed too. But I mean, this is a good turnout. No, for a test and tune. This isn't oh, even this is an not, event. This yeah. is just a test and tune. Reflection, man. <laughs> it's 
Squirrel? Where? I don't know. Running. How far? Far. <laughs> There's 12 0. Yeah, so the first time, obviously the gas pedal came undone. So fixed it, and then I just kind of, you know, wanted to go easy on it to make sure they didn't pull apart. So I not, just kind of like eased into the gas. Uh, easing into it, yeah. I don't think it's really gonna change much. I ran a 12, four, two, and a one eight to the 60 foot, which is crap. I think my best 60 foot is a one six or a one five, or, or I think it was a one six. Uh, I think it was like one seven, one one six one seven. I yeah, think. I think yeah. it was like one six something. But um, so my mile an hour is a little bit slower today too because my fastest is like one ten or one eleven. Yep. Yep. So um, like I said, there's a couple little tweaks. I think some of it's in the gas pedal. It didn't have. I think no excuses. I think it's very similar. I don't think it changed much. Just how it sits. As I far mean, as timing wise. Yeah. As far as timing so and the trans. Well, okay, let's yeah, well let's get the gas pedal fixed, like good, so you can right, actually really get a good foot brake on it, right? And then get like a couple passes in if we can get in right. with you actually foot braking it, Definitely. and then from there we can play with timing and see if we can maybe add two degrees, <laughs> right? Or take away timing and see if it goes faster or slower, right? And then after that we're gonna just start, you know, doing little stuff, change the front tires and wheels, and try and get some weight out of the front. We'll probably take the hood off. Uh, the hood and the tailgate are probably the only two things I'll take off, try to get it a little bit quicker and see if we can break into the 11s. Because that's really all I care about, so you obviously just get into the 11s. And well, I mean, that. realistically, it should run another 12.2 or faster. Yeah. No, but, no. you know, I'm, when you ran your 12.2, you were foot braking it. Right. So, yeah, this was just like I was hovering over the gas and then I just like barely like got on it. Because right. I didn't yeah, want your, to... your leave was really soft. Yeah. So, so I'm, like I said, there's a couple things we just got to tweak and I think we can get it a little better. So. All right, guys, so Tyler's up for his second pass. Let's see if uh, we can get better than the 1240 that he got. I believe it was a 1240. So here we go. Five one thirteen.
1532 at 93 miles an hour. That's not bad. But took the hood off, the tailgate off, put some skinny tires up front. We're gonna see if that changes anything. again so great that fucker man yeah it was slower but it was good um I definitely so I was a 1.4 reaction uh or 0.14 and then uh 196 60 foot and then I ran a 1275 um at 107 that's definitely my slowest time and I'm not sure what it is, but I'm pretty sure I spun. So we're gonna check out a little bit, try to get the hook a little better. I did take the tailgate off, so that might have been part of my traction, but we were hoping it would hoping it would take it. So we'll see what I gotta do to get that back. We're finally going the right direction. <laughs> hey, I was like, we're hey, close hey, enough. What did the legend even, do? No, you didn't do shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not yet. Not until we touched that 11. I touched yeah, that 11. I think if we would have had the timing where it is right now, earlier today, it would have cracked an 11. Because it would have been cooler. Well, it's cooling off now. I think so. Because everybody but went I heard slower. that they're closing the track at 6. Time everybody went slower. Towards the end oh, of the I day. got it. Time for another one. We can either lower the timing a little bit more and see if it helps. Or just see or rerun it. That was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, that's my fastest mile an hour too, I think. I think it's my fastest mile an hour. 98, yeah, man, they're so close. So dude. close. I was like, if so we close. may, I'm hoping that, you know, a degree will give, because what is that, a hundredth of a second? I'm off right now from an 11? Yeah. I need that. All it all it needs to do is cool off a little bit more and I think you'll get it. Well, and I don't even mind doing I mean, I'd like to do a hawk so I don't have to say the traffic or track traffic. Well, it's all on you know, it's track conditions. I know, but in general, I just want to be able to crack it and just be like, I can crack an 11. I don't care if it's nice, hot, just, I just want it to crack an 11. Obviously, if it gets cooler, then awesome. Then you need to run 1150 if you want to crack 11 at any time possible. Well, right, but I'll, I'll or I'm gonna be. I'm gonna skip the 11s after this. I'm, <laughs> I'm just happy to see the 12 I was like, at least we went faster. So yes, I'm. Well, happy. you went from and the I very did. last pass was what a 12.7. Yeah. Yeah, 12.7 yeah, to a 12 -0. Yeah, that's so a we huge. So shaved a half second off. More than a half a second. Yeah. Three quarters. That's huge. Yeah. So. 
for guessing on our tuning, but yes, I will say you did well, great. <laughs> we have no idea where we're going this, without that, a dyno. This is how you do it without a dyno. Right, yeah, without a dyno, we're doing great. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah that's You take it to the track, you play with the numbers. If you go slower, okay, go the other way. And right. we went the other way, and it worked. I know we just kind of came into this late, but Tyler here just got his fastest time of the day. 12.056 at 112 with a 1745 60 foot. I think that's his best 60 foot yet. And I think that's his best reaction time yet. It's definitely my best reaction time because my other one was a 0 .09. Yep. So a lot of things accomplished on yeah. that last pass today. Yeah, most of them are like one, like pretty much one eight sixty foot. So yeah, I, I heard cool. you doing your burnout, so then I ran out there so I could see the scoreboard and saw that, and I was like, "Dude, hell yeah!" Yeah, that's really close. I wish, I wish it just had a little more sauce. But... I'm both not picky. I'm I'm content with what I got. I mean, I definitely want the eleven. I mean, but the reality of it is, I mean, we all know it's time for turbos, so it's just like, it's kind of a catch twenty two. I, I don't want to beat a dead horse and just put pass after pass after pass looking for five one hundredths of a second right. to make my day. So, Well guys, they're calling it. We didn't quite make it in time. You yeah, to try the tailgate, but there's always next time, but next time definitely going to be turbos. Oh yes. I guarantee it. Yep. Time for big things. Big boy things. So, yeah, definitely big boy stuff. But it's. <laughs> this is what it looks like after a busy weekend, apparently. Or Memorial Day weekend. Yep. Sadness and depression. Sadness and depression. It's coming to an end. Time to go back to work. No. Big oh, no. Not yet. No. <laughs> I'm not there yet. I'll worry about that when I wake up, but I'm not there yet. But. I don't even think Isaac's gonna make it to work. <laughs> He's already saying screw it. I can't. I should. I really can't because I just got back to work. But it was a good weekend. I'm just. I have Ranger. Good on my dude, right now. That's right. Good times. Yeah. I have turbos on my brain. He's got Ranger. I got turbos. Cody's like, okay, now I'm ready. I can see. It. I think I, I feel. Work. I feel like I gotta go down the track for the first time. <laughs> I'm ready to go faster. <laughs> Well, see, Cameron wants to go faster. Now he's experienced his first track day. Now he wants to go faster. This is the curse of drag racing. Yep. Yep. It only takes a day and you're not fast enough. I'm happy I got a 12-0, but I'm ready to go faster. And you almost beat that GTR. Yeah, that was that was a hell of a race. I, he definitely really, 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 really wish I would have had a bottle. <laughs> I would have got a rig the line to it. I would have just sent that thing full timing. I don't care. Grenade that thing going across the line. I was so close to having him. I would have been worth it. 
just to have it on a camera. But yeah, that was a close race. It was fun. I had that. I have never had so much fun losing in my life in a couple of those races. There's at least three races where I was just having a blast. So, which I never thought I could say I could have fun losing. But it, there it is. So, <laughs> but hopefully we can get all this together again for the next track day which is like i said we got one in 10 days from now we're not sure we're gonna make and then we got another one pretty much 20 days total from today and then uh i'm dig into the hemi try to get the turbos on by that one for sure and then i was trying to get the ranger done obviously they're really close and we might have a few surprises for you again yeah, <laughs> yeah us and our surprises with that <laughs> stupid ranger yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, then, knock, then knock out Christian's truck so we can get on Keith's car, man. Because we need, we need. I'm not dogging anybody, but we need all of our big dogs out. Yeah, we gotta quit talking about it, get us all out there. Both I mean, all of us. I mean, don't get me wrong. I had a blast filming this whole trip, but I'm ready to get my car done. I'm ready yeah. to go racing. Especially after seeing the doppelganger. I mean, that thing's like almost exactly what i know other than the hood and the bumper being yeah. cut out that's about the only difference between the two cars other than his was like gutted and yeah. full Every of time cage I turned and... around i swore i was like hey keith's car is here like it literally <laughs> just like instinct just missing the red there. interior yeah. that was it right. i never walked up to it but just instinct from a distance it literally just looked like his car yeah it was like it's here i was like and that's what it should be we should be here with our baddest of the bad when we look at it, we're just like that's what it is so we're definitely starting to get a roll to this and getting people excited, which people are showing up a lot more. Cause like I said, I've had at least 20 people at my house in the last 15 days, say two weeks. So for me, that's an extensive <coughs> pickup. So, and that's all just with cruising and everything else. So I can feel the good content rolling. I can see the gears turning everybody's brain. So we'll definitely, like I said, I'm definitely excited to see where it goes. We just need to, get a boom going Mosier's and yours is like really just as big of a priority than my truck like it's right not, i'm i'm so excited to see Mosier's truck in your car so well make sure to keep an eye out for videos dropping a Mosier's truck that's going to be really really soon we're going to do a whole walk around video on it and then what we're going to be doing to finish this truck up and as soon as this truck's done do the same thing with my car walk around video and we're going to dive into putting that 351 together yeah. so we can get that out and i can finally get like a legit time slip Right. Get the motor broke in and get the car figured out because it's definitely going to be a whole new world going V8 because that car's always been four cylinder. Right. So yeah, definitely a lot more, a lot more torque and they'll be learning it all over again, learning how it moves and it'll definitely be exciting. I'm excited for a learning curve for all of us. Stepping in a Nitro, stepping into a V8 boost, same thing for you, stepping into a V8. Not that we haven't driven cars like it, but in reality, it's like. For something that's been our designated race car for a long time it's that's quite a change so i'm i'm excited hopefully we get this shit down to colorado and get it tuned and we have some really big stuff for everybody yep but. so brent you're watching this we're coming to see you here pretty yeah. soon brent at pfi let's make that a little bit more clear brent at pfi yeah because brent at pfi he probably doesn't remember me right off the top of his head now because it's been almost a year but we talked and he was I showed him pictures of all of our rigs, not the Ranger at the time because the Ranger wasn't in existence, but he was excited to look at our stuff and tune it. I told him, or I asked him, I said, do you tune much Hemi stuff? He said, actually, I do quite a bit of Mopar stuff. I love doing it. I just don't get them very often. So he was like, I told him what I had and told him what we had. And he was like, yeah, bring it down. So the goal is to put the turbos on it and go out down there and try to collaborate with some guys and just have a blast, meet some of our idols, is I guess the word. Mm -hmm make some power mostly just doing it for fun yeah you know it just to have somebody that you know give them an opportunity to tune something a little bit different and give us an opportunity to meet people that aren't in a totally different game than we're in really i mean it's all car but obviously they're a lot more import so it's just like it's cool to collaborate with people in general get ideas from all over the board so with that i want to give a huge thanks to spokane county raceway for the test and tune event um, please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. We will see you guys next time.